name is Ivan, and welcome to the RV Cooking Show, a place where I can share with you my passion for RVing and my love for recreating regional food specialties from all across the country in my RV kitchen. Today we're in beautiful Morro Bay, California. With a population of about 10,000 and smack dab in the middle of San Francisco and Los Angeles, Morro Bay is the quintessential Central California coast town. Its namesake is the 576-foot volcanic plug, Morro Rock, one of the nine sisters in the Morro chain that stretches from Morro Bay to San Luis Obispo, about 15 miles away. Morro Rock is home to the endangered peregrine falcon and is the jumping off place for one of my favorite secret special spots here, the jetty. From the jetty you can watch crashing waves, seals, dolphins, and even migrating whales. Morro Bay is a state and nationally protected estuary and is a great place to kayak. Visitors love the Embarcadero, where they can stroll, shop, dine, or just take in the beautiful atmosphere. South of here in Los Osos is Montana de Oro State Park, an absolute must-see. About 30 miles north is San Simeon and, of course, the world-famous Hearst Castle. With temperate year-round weather, scenery like this, and fresh fish galore, there is no better place to be than magnificent Morro Bay, California. When I'm in Morro Bay, I buy my fresh fish exclusively at the Dockside Fish Market here on the north end of the Embarcadero. They always have a nice selection of fresh off-the-boat fish and are quick with a story about the captain that caught it or preparation tips. So joining me today here at the Dockside is Captain Mark Tognazzini. Hi, welcome to Dockside. Well, thank you. This is a great place. Tell us about it. Thank you. It's uh, right here in the docks in Morro Bay on the north end of the Embarcadero, and we have a restaurant and a fish market uh, patio dining uh, area. Great. And so do you do some fishing? I do. Uh, I'm 37 years in Pacific as a commercial fisherman, and uh, it's been a natural evolution uh, having a restaurant and a fish market for our family. Wow. So what are some of your favorite or your customers' favorite local fish? Uh, one that stands out is, of course, rockfish. Uh, we have a lot of uh, local petroli, mm. uh, different other local uh, flatfish, Rex, uh, English sole, uh, Dover sole. Uh, of course, we have California halibut. Uh, we have albacore in season and salmon in season. Mmm, sounds good. Now, we've got some rockfish to prepare today. Tell us about that rockfish. Yeah, what you have today is some vermilion rockfish. Um, the vermilion are one of 60 different varieties of rockfish that are sold as specific red snapper. Here at Dockside, we like to call them what they really are, and we'll tell you the species and often the, the gentleman who caught it. Great. Well, I have to tell you that I got hooked on the Dockside by the fish list, so why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that neat thing? Sure. In 1996, uh, we started to direct market all our fish off the boat. And uh, we saw a need to be able to notify the people and let them know uh, when it was available because we're dealing with a fresh product. So we started a, a fish list. And we have quite a few people that belong to the fish list. We send out a weekly posting telling them about what's available, whether they can get it on the boat, in our restaurant, or at the fish market. Great. And folks can subscribe for free, and that comes right to their email box. Absolutely for free. And, and it's a kind of a newsy hometown thing that we do here in Morro Bay. You even have some videos coming out, don't you? We, we have a little bit on YouTube, a little bit of black cod fishing on YouTube, and, and uh, uh, we've threatened to do some salmon fishing this next year on YouTube also. Mm, great. Well, I think I'm getting hungry. I think it's time to get back to the RV and start cooking. So thank you so much, Captain Mark, for having us today. Thanks for being here. We enjoyed your company. Wonderful. Let's go back to the rig and start to make some rockfish. Boy, that was a lot of fun. The people down at the dock site are really great. Well, today I've got our rockfish here home in my RV kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to make rockfish in a lemon butter caper sauce. It is delicious. It sounds fancy schmancy, but once you see me make this, you'll see it's easy enough for every night dinner or fantastic enough for company. Here's what we're going to put in it. We've got about three-quarter pound of vermilion rockfish. We're going to dredge it in a little bit of flour. Our sauce will consist of about two tablespoons of butter, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and capers. We've got about two tablespoons of capers here, and we've rinsed them. And you want to make sure that you rinse them, otherwise it'll be too salty and they'll be too briny of a taste in your sauce. We're going to serve our rockfish with lemon butter caper sauce with some fantastic 
purple organic mashed potatoes. Take a look at these. They are just gorgeous. As you can see, they're lavender color inside. And what we've done is we've cut them up, skin and all, in small pieces. We'll put them in our microwave and we will cook them until they're nice and soft. Then mash them with some butter and some kosher salt. We'll also serve this dish with some organic green beans and the plate will be just as beautiful as the food is delicious. So let me show you how we're going to debone and then we'll get cooking. When you buy a rockfish fillet from your fishmonger, there are a few bones still left in the fillet and I like to remove those before I cook my rockfish. It just makes for an easier and more enjoyable eating experience. So let me show you how we're going to do that. When you take a look at the rockfish fillet, you'll notice that there is a flat end and a pointy end. The flat end is where the tail used to be. And to the right of that, if you feel along a line, you will feel just a few bones that end part way up. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the fish and we're going to just cut out the small strip of bones so we don't have to pick them out at the table. Just like this. Really <laughs> simple. Right along the bone line here. Voila! We now have a boneless rockfish fillet. We've got our two tablespoons of butter in a small saute pan on medium to medium low in the back melting up. What we're going to do is we're going to take our large saute pan, put just a little bit of canola spray on the bottom. We've got our two rockfish fillets dredged in flour. We're going to put them in the pan and get them cooking. They'll take about five minutes in the pan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rinsed capers, about two tablespoons, I'm going to put them in my butter, and I'm going to just saute them up. Next we're going to pour the fresh lemon juice into the butter caper mixture, and we're going to do that to taste. About half. I think that's enough lemon juice. It tastes great. So that was about an eighth of a cup, maybe a little bit more. <clears throat> what we're going to do next is we are going to take our sauce. We've got about a minute more on our fish. We're going to pour the sauce on the fish, shake it around, and let all the flavors meld together. Are you ready? Mm. This looks just great. We're going to put it on our plate and we're going to eat. It's tender fish, so I'm going to use two spatulas just in case. And if it breaks apart, that's okay. It's still going to taste great. Add just a little bit of the butter lemon juice. Oh, it looks great. Well, here we have it, our delicious vermilion rockfish with a caper lemon butter sauce. Now, by the way, if you can't find rockfish in your fish market, you can use any other type of white, flaky, mild fish like halibut or a sole. Those work great in this dish. We've also got our organic purple mashed potatoes, and aren't they a sight? And our organic green beans. We've garnished it with a couple of bright yellow lemon wedges. I think we're ready to eat. You can find this recipe in a printer-friendly format, as well as any other recipe you've seen on our show, or subscribe to our show so you don't miss one single savory episode on our website at www.rvcookingshow.com. That'll do it for us today. I hope you've enjoyed visiting Morro Bay, and I can't wait to see you again next time right here on the RV Cooking Show.